hi guys i just wanted to come on and show you guys how i do my outline um for my wigs i make wigs on a sewing machine which is right back there um i make wigs on a sewing machine so i like to use certain caps and um, a certain method to get my tracks to lay flat and for them to um, be more secure. So I have a lace closure in my hand now and this is a ventilated cap. I order my caps from Wigs by Neek and I will put her information down at the bottom. She sells small, medium, and large caps. And I will put a picture of how I determine what size cap I use. Now, this is a medium size cap that I'm using right now. But if you did need to make adjustments to a medium size cap or a small cap for that matter, you can definitely do that too. So even if they're like an extra small, you can make your wig cap a little bit smaller by customizing it just that much further for your client. Um, but that is definitely a whole nother video. So I will put down below, I mean not down below, I will put a picture in of how I determine if I need a small, medium, large cap for my client. So this is a medium cap for one of my clients that I'm making now. And she is getting a lace closure weave, wig, excuse me. Um, this is the outline for this exact lace closure, which is a 4x4, four four, um, 18 inch raw Indian wavy closure that I have here. So I line the front of my cap up with the very front of the wig cap. I will stretch the back down and I will pin it with my T pins here. And I'll pin the back and then I will stretch my sides um, try to stretch it a little bit so it's a little taut you want it to be really tight and secure for your client so stretch it out a little bit and then you're gonna pin either side of this alright so let me pin this side and then once I've done that I actually like to use either a gray white sharpie or sometimes I will just use a crayon and this is a crayon a washable crayon in gray and I will use that to outline my wigs um, I also use it to place my tracks as well um, and I also use for the plastic part here I will use a black sharpie so let me show you how the wig cap comes. This is a ventilated wig cap and this is the inside once I flip it around. So this is exactly how it's going to be. So this is the inside of the wig cap and this part is plastic. Once you finish making your wig, of course, this part comes off. So don't even worry about making any marks or thinking that this isn't how it's going to come. Um, so that's how they come when I order them from Wigs by Neek. And she will have um, a marking on all of my caps that I get that says that they're small, medium, or large. So there's no confusion. But once i make my markings trace all the way around my wig cap here i'll just go ahead and take these pins out of the wig and for now i don't need this until the very end of my wig making so i kind of put that to the side and then i will go in and determine how many tracks need to be laid on this wig i am using Um, 20 and a 22 inch bundle of raw Indian hair um, this is the hair that I sell if you guys need any more information on that 
definitely um, message me, email me, or um, contact me and you guys can have yourself some too. So this is the 22 inch here. I have been doing making wigs for a long time so I know if I have 12 inch bundles then I'm definitely going to have to double my wefts before I make my wig and that's of course in a whole nother video as well um, but I probably won't since I'm only using one bundle of 22 and one bundle of 20 I shouldn't have to double my wefts I um, sometimes do a few doubled wefts and then the rest single wefts but of course you guys can um, see how I determine that so I will start at the bottom here I don't necessarily sew any hair onto this last little piece right here but you definitely can if you need to um, I normally do it for my if I have a lot of hair that I need to sew on, then I will definitely do it that way. But for my first track that I mark off, if I'm doing all single wefts for this wig, would be right here. I mark my first track here. And then I can go to the other side and mark my first track there. Now, the crayon doesn't really make any marks on the plastic. So I will then go in with my Sharpie marker and I will use that on the plastic to make my line all the way across. So my second track I like to put right here and I'll go in with my Sharpie and kind of outline the rest all right and of course you can definitely do the same thing if you were making a frontal wig the only difference is that the frontal wig this line will continue all the way down the side to the ear tabs so when your line continues all the way down here your tracking needs to start here now for my lace closure wig, my tracks will continue all the way through to the edge of my wig cap. So it just depends on what type of wig you're making. But let me go back here and I will continue my lines all the way through my entire wig cap. I know where I want my tracks to be I like them to keep I like to keep my tracks with um, even spacing throughout the entire wig so the density of the wig will be even throughout you don't want your tracks to be really really close and then all of a sudden up here you do really big gaps through your tracks you definitely don't want that so definitely keep it pretty even throughout your wig and yes there is a way you can if even if you sew past this point you can still go back and sew tracks in between say your client determines they want your their wig to be fuller or you're already done making your wig and you decide you know what I think I do want to add another bundle or another half a bundle you can definitely go back in between and do that so let's make these markings all the way through all right so I will come back once I have all of my tracks marked and then I will show you how I mark my tracks if they are doubled or single Okay, so I have marked my wigs all the way up. Let me turn it this way. I 
have marked my wigs all the way up until this point here. My tracks in between here and here will lay a different way. They won't necessarily go from edge all the way around to the other edge. They will um, be a little different. So I do my tracks from here to here. And I will do another track from here to here. And then my last and final track will be right where my lace closure line is, which is right here. And I do not put my last and final track on until my lace closure is sewn on to my wig cap. So this is how my lines, my outline for my machine made wigs will end up being, and this is for a lace closure wig. And yes, it will change based on um, what size wig cap you have, and it will cha change based on what size lace closure you have. This is a four by four lace closure, so it's not as big of an area. I can definitely use a five by five lace closure or a six by six lace closure in order to make the parting space for my wig a little bit more. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I just wanted to let everyone know this is how I make my wig caps um, or my wig caps, my wigs on my sewing machine. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only reason I would go down here for my wigs right here is if I had excess hair and I didn't want to waste it and it couldn't fit in here or if it's like a small track and I definitely want to add it in I definitely do not um, keep hair um, I will ask my client if they have let's say they have five bundles and four and a half fit perfectly I can definitely squeeze in five um, I'll utilize this area here or I will double all of my tracking and make it fit in this um, part of the wig. So it's just um, an extra space that can be used. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes my clients don't even like this here. Um, they want the track to start right up here. So that's pretty much it. I will put down all the information for um, where I get my caps from and I will um, put information for where I got my dome head from. This is a size 22, which is a medium for me. Um, and I actually got this one from Amazon. Um, this one's by GEX, the company, and I got mine from Amazon. Um, they're, they run from like 19 to 23 dollars on Amazon so it's a really good deal and they have different sizes as well so you can get um, a size 21 you can get a size 23 you can get a size 19 20 it just really depends on which one you need um, I always when I first started wig making I started off with the um, the block for my size head because I was only doing my wigs at that time so I would start off with mine and then I would um, expand from there. So um, that's pretty much it you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching um, my videos.